Give it to me now! Really? I don't know what you're talking about. Detective Vergara phoned me to follow up on your prescription for Vicodin, a prescription I have not written for you in three years. I checked. I could lose my license over this. Brian, I'm out of options. The police know what's going on. I I'm not going to lie for you. Well, I didn't know what to do. That's not an excuse. You put my livelihood and the welfare of my family in danger. That's something I do not take lightly, Brian. Now, you give me the script pad, you give me to me right away, and I'll walk away, but you and I are done. I would like for you to separate your feelings from hers. You feel you need to suffer, but do you think she wants you to? <laughs> Trust me. mislabeled was only about a thousand so with any luck we'll burn through those pretty quickly and by a pretty small population it would be a really bad situation if we had an influx of fentanyl addicts running around the streets can i quote you on that as long as you make me sound good sure <laughs> an oxy addict will go through about 120 milligrams a day that's three to four tablets per hit so that cuts the number of a thousand down to 500 to start with and then you figure in oh well, the number of pills left over after the OD and the average buy is three to four days, so I'd say we're looking at a minimum of 100 deaths.